Hey, what's up? The Brood Dude is back here with another beer. So today we have this beer called Yay Sayer. And it's an IPA. This is a common space brewery here in uh, Hawthorne, California. It's uh, Hawthorne is a small little city just on the skirts of like Los Angeles, Inglewood. Just by it's, it's literally let's see five to ten minutes from LAX. So if, if you've never heard of Hawthorne, and if you ever in the Los Angeles LAX area, hit up Common Space. Let me tell you, their beers are fantastic. Uh, I've had this one before, haven't really kind of sat down and reviewed the beer, but I've had many of them and they're really, really good. Uh, once again, it's a Yaysayer IPA. Uh, they have many beers and if you want to look up the website, I'll put the link in the descri description so you can look it up. Obviously with what's going on right now, um, the, the tap room itself, it's not open, you can't walk in, you can't sit down, but you can pick up your beer, you can order it, they can deliver it, you can buy it. So whatever you want to do, if you still want to taste it and you're in the LAX, LAX area, L Los Angeles area, go and hit them up, it's common space. So let's jump right into this here. Like it's a West Coast style IPA. Uh, this is uh, has the Rarpel uh, malt oats. I like beers with little oats. Gives that mouth feel. And the yeast is a California L. Hops Idaho Seven, Amarillo, and Centennial. Uh. Early burps. I did have one earlier. This is six point seven percent alcohol by volume. We're talking about that pale, slightly honey orange color to it. There's nice carbonation inside, a lot of bubbles rising from the bottom to the top. This glass isn't a cold glass, so a lot of times that will agitate the beer as well. Beers other than like, we're talking about maybe some PBRs, Coors Lights, if I get them poured in a glass, I usually don't, but some things like that. I like, I like a chilled glass, but beers that have a little bit more flavor, just a nice room temperature uh, glass is fine. Also, I try to let this beer sit outside, not to get it too cold, so I can get all those good flavors and true flavors out. Nice color, nice head, the head sitting on top. It is 6.7. There is, looks like there's a, enough carbonation in there. A lot of times you get all these new craft beers and everything from ind independent craft breweries that lack on the carbonation. They're almost like flat, just close to like maybe 20% carbonation, 80% gone, 20% left. But this looks like there's nice carbonation to it. Oh, uh, the, the can had a nice little uh, uh, bounce to it. Also, they can it there. They do all their labels, all that all that good stuff. They take care of there. Um, it's, it's awesome. It's an awesome area. It's a good environment. I would definitely check it out. But back to this beer, right, because I'm just talking and rambling, huh? Smells delicious. Sweet, slight pine, a little resin. I don't get too many tropical flavors. A lot of pine, a lot of... Uh, those type of uh, hop aromas. I do smell a little bit of the alcohol. It is 6.7%. A lot of times you'll get that alcohol aroma just a little bit. So it is definitely something that I would be like, hey, this is an alcoholic beverage for sure. <sighs> Smells good. Has a little sm slight, I don't like, for those people who brew and maybe use a lot of uh, hops and if you really get a little whiff of the hops there's a small tiny almost like a garlic note in the back back of like when you smell a lot of hops or, or, or even brew with a lot of hops I, I get that a little bit but it's not it's not something that's taking me away for the from the beer it's actually just adding to it. it's really good it doesn't smell like garlic by the way it smells uh, sweet pine things like that like the resin right that 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 tack stuff. All right, cheers. Oh, the, I guess uh, we did go over the color, but if you notice here, maybe that oat here is giving it that just the proteins in there. It's giving it that little slight haze. Let's do this. Carbonation is just right. It's not overly carbonated. That it can look. It actually was just releasing a lot of carbonation. That carbonation was just right. Not a, not too much of a bite. Slight, just a slight amount of bite. Just enough to uh, kind of introduce you to the beer, saying, "Hey, look, check this out." Then the nice uh, sweetness is coming out of. I'm sure that from from uh, the combination of 
uh, of um, grain that they use and maybe the it's 6.7 I don't want really to call it high gravity for what high gravity is considered today 6.7 percent it is you know pretty high not super high especially nowadays but it does have enough grain in there that some are not going to ferment out you're going to get some of that sweetness in there and then the hops coming in about mid-range you're getting some of that pine that pine tar no fruity no mango no strawberries none of that everything is really more than like more uh pine resin kind of that style rather than fruity so you're not getting a tropical you're getting that that pine resin that tar i said like 15 times i don't know how many times i have to say it it's delicious it's pretty it's really really good once again if you are in the hawthorne area if you're in the lax area um at the end, I get a lot of earth, a lot of earth flavors. Like you can taste those raw hops. You can taste, the, the, you know, the, the roots and the dirt that it, of, of the vines and stuff. It's definitely a beer to try. If you're in the LAX area and you happen to visit that, 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 uh, that Hawthorne area, which is not too far from LAX, definitely check them out. Check out their Instagram, Common Space LA. Check out their Facebook, 6.7% alcohol by volume, one pint, Yay Sayer IPA. Definitely want to taste. And there's so many great beers. Go ahead and grab them. Thank you for watching, subscribing, and liking. And with that said, the Brew Dude is out.